Morning folks, and welcome back. I'm out here on the Essex coast today to do a bit of cooking, but with a difference. I spent the night out here last night with a bunch of other wild campers and outdoor enthusiasts. We did a, an overnight bivy camp, um, and I thought I'd make the most of this beautiful morning um, to do this video. It's a video I've been meaning to do for some time, but I had to have the conditions just right. It is really windy this morning. <laughs> it's not ideal, but I found a little sheltered spot in a dip behind some uh, vegetation to my right here, and um, hopefully, hopefully this will work. I'm not gonna be lighting a fire or using a stove or anything like that for, for this bit of cooking I'm doing today. Instead, I'm gonna be using this. This is a, a solar oven, and um, it's a clever bit of kit that involves shiny surfaces, mirrors, um, and it reflects the sun's rays onto your cooking pot, a special cooking pot, and uh, it cooks your food that way. The oven's easy to put together. You literally just unfold it, and there are tabs and slots, and you just put it together, and it forms a parabolic shape, and you just aim it towards the sun. Um, you also get a special cooking pot. Uh, it's a thin enamel, um, almost like a casserole dish with a lid, uh, in a dark colour so that it absorbs uh, that heat from those uh, reflected rays. Um, so I'm going to put this on to, uh, to, to start to warm up. You need to kind of pre-warm it in the sun for a bit. Um, this sort of thing obviously works a lot better during the summer months when it's warm. Today, yes, I've got the sun and the sun's quite, quite strong, but I have got the uh, the wind and the cold to, to contend with. The kit comes with a plastic bag, a little bit like those baking bags that you can uh, roast chickens in, and the idea is you put your pot inside that bag and uh, and on the uh, solar oven that keeps the um, keeps the wind off, traps some of that heat in, and uh, just makes it work more efficiently. While the pot is warming up, I'm gonna start preparing my, my ingredients. Um, you can cook all sorts of things in these solar ovens. Um, they are very versatile, um, but they do work differently to you know cooking normally. So there are a few things you have to bear in mind. Um, it will take longer. Um, solar Brother, who make this oven, uh, recommend half an hour extra on your cooking time. I'm gonna give it longer than that because you know I'm cooking in February, it's cold, there's, it's windy, um, just to, to, to make sure I'm gonna give it probably an hour longer than I would do normally. Um, the other thing to remember is that if you cut your ingredients up really small, they're gonna cook better. Um, big chunks, you know, whole roasts and that, it was, it, it, it's probably not gonna work. It's just too much um, to, to you know, expect this oven to, to cook like a whole chicken, for example. What I'm cooking today is a kind of vegetable minestrone style soup. I've got some vegetables with me, I've got some pasta, I've got some beans. So um, I'm gonna put it all together and um, see what happens. So I've brought along a carrot, a small carrot, half a pepper, a stick of celery. I just cut it in half to fit it in my bag and two cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna cut them up first, nice and thinly so that they stand a better chance of cooking through. There's all my veg cut up all nice and small. That um, pot has had about a quarter of an hour now to, to heat up. So I'm gonna put this in with a bit of olive oil and then give it half an hour. Just give it half an hour head start in the olive oil just to start to soften a bit before I add the other ingredients. Gosh, you can, you can feel the heat. That's actually amazing. I mean, it's not hot, but there is definitely a lot of warmth in there. And the pot, the pot is really warm. <laughs> well, it seems to be working. Oil, a couple of 
tablespoons. The vegetables have just about had their half an hour head start, so I'm going to add the other ingredients. In here I've got mixed beans, it's like a kind of five bean salad, I think there's sweet corn and stuff in it as well. So that's going to go in, that's almost a full can, probably about um, 300 grams. Um, and I've got some pasta shells, some of the little tiny ones that you put in soups. Um, again, a good kind of handful of that. I've got a stock pot, you could use a stock, stock cube. I've got um, salt, pepper, and dried mixed herbs. And I've got water. hot in there. Like beans, and shells, stock. The pot is back on and I now need to leave it for two hours to cook. I've changed how it is in the bag, I've just brought the bag up around it and tucked it into the lid because I was a bit concerned that it wasn't getting enough reflected heat from underneath with the bag kind of doubled over on itself. Um, so I've done that, hopefully that will uh, that will do the job. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it, there's nobody around. I've got this place completely to myself so I might just go for a little walk uh, along the beach and let this let this do its thing.
Right, that has had two hours. Let's see what it looks like. Well, it smells good. The pot is warm, but definitely not hot. I can pick it up with my hands. Let's see what the uh, soup is like. Hmm. Well, the vegetables are still crunchy. The pasta is almost cooked. Still a little bit al dente. It's tasty. And it's warm. <laughs> well, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my mostly cooked lunch. <laughs> I've uh, brought some bread with me to, um, to dunk in it. And uh, I'm just gonna enjoy another another hour of this sunshine before I before I head back home. Um, I am impressed with this with this bit of kit. Um, I love the idea of, of using free solar energy to, to heat up your food. Um, I just think it's better suited to, to the summertime you know when you've got that when you've got that hot overhead sun. Um, I think it'll work really well then so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep with it. I'm gonna try it again uh, in the summertime and I dare say the results will be even better. Although it's not bad for a a cold February February morning um, you know I had that wind to contend with I had the cold temperatures and it still managed to mostly cook it I think perhaps given give it another half an hour 45 minutes that probably would have been cooked right the way through but I'm too hungry to wait <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you soon